Hello everyone, my name is Christian Woda from TradeWoda and today we want to show you all the basics and the things what you need to know to start with Interactive Broker or with any of the introducing brokers uh, from Interactive Broker means what you need uh, depends on the market data, what you need to set up to get the permission, what to do before you place the first trade and this we will show you in different um, platforms means like on the mobile app, on the desktop version as well as on the client portal so that you can see as a beginner what might uh, fit your needs uh, the best and how to start to place the first trade and we will even select um, a stop and also choose a stop and a target that there's everything what you need to know to really invest in your first uh, position with a stop and a target as well. So if you don't want to miss any of the videos in the future you can subscribe here to our channel. We would be also happy if you can leave a comment or any question we will try to answer as soon as possible. And now we want to have here a look on the screen. Yeah, to start trading with the client portal, I think the first what you need to know or to check is uh, to transfer money to your account and then everything what is necessary before you start trading you find here under this icon uh, with the settings let's say market data permission also uh, if you have a cash or margin account all these topics you will find in the separate video what we will see now on the top on the right corner and there you can check especially the settings uh, in the client portal for paper trading, for market data, and all this information, what you need to set up in the beginning. Then after this, um, it's important, let's say you have a cash account. I think it's very important here under transfer and pay to convert your money. Let's say your account is in Euro, but you want to trade in the US stock market, then you need to exchange um, money first in a margin account. This is not necessary here. I don't know why it's now in German here, but there's the um, second thing is convert money and you find there um, all the currencies um, and it's important also in the margin account to know because otherwise you will always borrow US dollar and then you will also pay interest if you keep this or hold this position for a longer period of time. But the rest to really start trading and to place an order, I think it's quite simple. You see here a symbol or side search. You can put your the symbol you want to trade. Let's say we want to place an order for eBay. Then you can see the different um, exchanges. Normally um, you would say I would trade it on a Nasdaq. But no, if you want to trade it on other stock exchanges, make sure if you have a cash account that you also have the currency for this stock exchange. We will select eBay, go directly here to stock. You can also select options and CFD, but I think for the beginning, as I said, we want to keep it very easy and simple just to show you how to place a trade. And what's also very important, if you place a trade and open a position to have a stop and a target order. So target maybe not so important, but especially to have a stop order just for the worst case scenario. It's something what is really important. Now we can see um, the chart of eBay. You can also select the different indicators, uh, whatever you need. I think this is something um, what you can yeah, use and try and see what you need here for your settings, for your setup of the chart. But really to focus on placing a trade, you just need to select here if you want to buy or sell a stock. I think normally for a long term investor, it's usual to buy some stocks. And then we have here already the order ticket where we can set up everything what we need you can see how many money you need for 100 um, shares of ebay but you can also select us dollar amount if it's uh, for you easier to say for every position i want to invest 2000 us dollar for example then this is also possible here to select yeah limit price i think it's pretty clear um, make sure if you work on delayed data to make it maybe a little bit lower if you want to do short-term trading it's really important to have the real-time data also for the symbols otherwise uh, with a market order you will place an order and accept every price what i think for long-term investors is not really um, the thing you're looking for and what is also important if you especially place a trade with a stop and a target order choose good till cancel otherwise your stop and your target will be automatically cancelled after the day because uh, here time enforces is only set today means uh, it's only available for this trading day 
this is i think everything what you need to know here for an entry order then you can place here the buy order accept it and your order is still pending you can check this then under orders and trades it's pre-submitted we can also modify it here or cancel for example the order. that's i think pretty easy just type the symbol here put your later choose the right exchange wait till the chart is loading and then just select buy or sell and after you have this position in your portfolio you can also place easily the stop and the target order normally we will see this in the trading app and maybe also in the trader workstation what is the next application what we want to check you can also already attach here the uh, stop or the market exactly what we can see here profit taker and then also stop loss so that's the, the easiest part that's exactly what we spoke in the beginning let's say for meta we also want to invest only 2000 ah yeah no, I know it's only for shares available that's why we didn't see it earlier uh, let's say we want to just buy five shares of meta important only if you select shares you have profit taker and stop loss and then you also can here change the time and force i think here it's more important than for the entry but here you can also select the price for your profit target you will see it then also later in the chart and it's easy to change the profit and the stop loss it's just important to make sure you have a stop loss with the good till cancel settings and also a profit taker if you there's a spike and you want to really generate some profit when you are not in front of your computer so there is always a target available we can also set this up one more time to see how it will work here i think we can see the chart and um, our orders but we have to select a smaller interval and then we can see here our stop our limit we can also just click on it and change it here that's all possible and the easiest thing what i always check at the end is my selection here order and trades there yeah, we can see meta is already pre-submitted for the next trading day as we are outside of the trading hours now at the moment and you know, here you just need to cancel the main the buy order because the sell order the profit taker the stop loss is only attached order to my entry order so as soon i cancel this the rest will be also cancel that's i think everything and it's quite easy quite simple in the client portal really also for beginners if you just do the things what i told you at the beginning check if you have the market data and the permission and the right currency and then just select here the symbol what you want to trade and that's it now the trader workstation i think here it's a little bit more advanced especially if you want to trade other instruments and not only a buy and hold strategy where we open some stock positions i think trader workstation can bring you many more features and you have some more settings what you will find so in the client portal not in the same way especially in the role positions for options but as i said we just want to keep it easy and simple we just want to show you how to place an order for a stock and here yeah we can do another example we can do for example apple if you don't need to know the symbols yeah you can also check them on a special website but here for the order entry it's always important to know the symbol for the stock you want to trade here you have the same selection we see again nasdaq we see here mexico or other markets like here must be um, germany and then i select apple smart it's just a routing and here if you have the classic version uh, the mosaic version um, with the order entry window it's also pretty easy and simple select buy or sell select again the quantity let's say we will buy again five stocks limit price and then under advanced you will find attached stop loss and profit taker so um pretty much same what we had now here you can even choose if you just need a stop loss or just a profit target just also don't forget the time and force the duration especially for buy and hold like i said it's important to choose gtc means good to cancel on maximum 90 days uh, what the order is valid but you will see also the exact date if you 
Play the order. Yeah, and then after this, it's not much more than just submit the order. You will see the amount what you will invest. You can also see it here. Yeah. Also, how long it's available. Here's the same. You can see my stock. You can see my target, and I can change this also in the chart by just clicking on the stop or the target, and then holding the, uh, pressing the mouse button and um, changing and moving it. But on the other way, you can also change it here directly in the order window where you can see all the orders which you placed today and you can also cancel here. So it's in the Mosaic version, I think also pretty easy and pretty simple to really start and place an order. And then in your portfolio, what we can see here, you see normally the profit and loss on a daily basis, also in a total basis if you want to and change the columns here. But that's all something what you can also see in our different videos just regarding the Trader Workstation application with the two uh, different um, versions, what we see here for Mosaic and for example for classic trading. So this was the placing order type or, or style in the Trader Workstation. Now the last thing what I want to show you is the way how to do it in the mobile app. It also depends if you have an iPhone or an Android. It looks a little bit um, different, but I want to show it here with a few screenshots. As we can see here, that's the mobile app. You also have um, the section trade, what you will find normally in your portfolio. And then uh, under the three dots on the right hand side, you will find normally the trade section and then same like uh, what we did before you have to search a stock let's say we have here cvs health corporation also there we have different um, exchanges uh, mexico again uh, this is frankfurt uh, stock exchange after you select the right one for the new york stock exchange also the same here how many you want to buy, which order type. Once again, good till cancel. If you want to keep this order for longer than the trading day where you place it. And then at the end, if you want to submit the order, just slide to the right. Or what we will see in the next screenshot, if you scroll down here, you have also the possibility to attach a profit taker and a stop loss to select here the same, the price. And like I said, always important to focus on good till cancel. Yeah, after the order is submitted, you will also see how much, how long it's valid with the GTC selection for the time and force. You can also modify it later, as you can see here, modify or cancel order. It's, I think the uh, mobile app is similar to what we discussed in the beginning for the client portal. It's pretty easy and pretty simple if you have just the right stocks. That's, I think, the only thing what is a little bit tricky as there's many exchanges and some people don't know the symbol or maybe the exchange where they want to place the trade. But after this, I think all self-explaining if you're using the app here. So after you see your order, you will also be able to slide here to cancel it. I normally always check the transactions at the, big, at the end. It's normally the order section or all the trades you will see from the day. Sometimes there's maybe an entry order what you need to change or need to cancel because you don't want to buy this anymore. So it's always in every trading tool important to check your transactions means open orders what trades did you do and here as i told you before especially for cash account or also in some cases for margin account you will find also here the button for converting currencies so in a client portal and in the uh, mobile app you will always do it uh, market to the price what is offered at the moment if you want to exchange money to a certain price um, then the trader workstation has some more features, but this is also explained in a different video what you can see on our channel. Yeah, here's the information orders. We canceled already this. At the end, you can also see all the trades, what you did today. And I think that's more or less the most important to start here with the mobile app. As I told you at the beginning, client portal and mobile app. It's super easy and simple for beginners. Trader Workstation should be something after maybe a few weeks or months, um, you're really familiar with the other two applications. It's uh, worth it to have a look in the Trader Workstation. But if you 
really start and then want to trade in the trader workstation it looks a little bit old style and complicated that's why the client portal and the mobile app is something what i recommend for easy buy and hold strategies uh, for stocks because it has all the features what you need yeah i really hope this was helpful and interesting for you to start with uh, tws or the client portal or even the mobile app there is also a new application, what is called IBKR Desktop app. This he will show you also in the future, so make sure to subscribe here to our channel. I would be happy to welcome you soon here again. And also, if there's any question or any comment, you can leave it here below the video, where you also find all more interesting um, links from our website or other videos you will show, uh, find also on our channel. So I hope to see you soon. Stay safe and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.